It is so easy this time of year to get caught up in all the sights and sounds of the holiday. It can also be easy to forget the true spirit of the season, giving. Yeah, now of course we're not talking about husbands and wives, parents and kids, but rather maybe those who don't have too much. And while time is such a precious commodity these days, turns out one organization has found a brilliantly simple solution for busy women who want to make a difference but don't have a lot of seconds to spare. She reached out and said, Mom, tell me more about this. Emily Schneller sometimes says it's tough to find enough time to give back to her community, but finding 99 other like-minded women turned out to be easy for her, and the result, 100 Women Who Care is a winner for everyone. And you're not giving away even the whole evening, so you're there for an hour and it's, it, you're in and out. Then each woman writes a $100 check, and they do that four times a year. We write our checks directly to that nonprofit. So we don't have to establish nonprofit status because I don't need another checkbook to keep up with. It is kind of cool when you hand over a big stack of checks. Mm -hmm. The latest envelope of checks is helping a teen center. I can't tell you how much this means, really, because it's so hard to get funding for this. Are you having fun? Yes! yes. My Good. favorite thing here is the pool table. My favorite thing here is the pool table. The money from 100 Women Who Care will help build a much needed kitchen. We're trying to fill in a gap between what the parents don't have time, money, energy to do and what the schools can't do. If 100 women give $100 each four times a year, that's $40,000 to donate in this one community. And over 10 years, it'll be $400,000. So while a single check is only $100, 100 of them makes a huge difference. Now, the first 100 Women Who Care group began in 2006 in Michigan. There are now more than 300 chapters in almost every state. Now, if 300 chapters raise $40,000 a year for 10 years, that's $120 million. Wow, that's some great stuff. Now, if that concept sounds familiar, it should. You may recall just last month, Dr. Mark Edney joined us on the couch to talk about the United Way's 100 Docs campaign. Dr. Edney founded the campaign after he says he saw just how great the need was here on Delmarva. If you watch the TV, you'd think the economy is getting better, but talk to people who are locked in low paying jobs who are still unemployed on the lower shore. There's a lot of struggle and a lot of need right here in our own communities, and that's the job of the United Way, and that's what we set out to do. Now the goal of the campaign to encourage 100 docs to give $1,000 a year to the United Way, creating a $100,000 a year campaign. Dr. Edney told us 100% of the donations stay right here on Delmarva. And you know the United Way couldn't do it without help from the community. The same goes for many nonprofit organizations on Delmarva. And one group in particular that helps is the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore and they encourage you to lend a hand to change lives, particularly this time of year. Joining us today to tell us more are Erica Joseph, President of the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and Rena Thaler, Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you Thank for, you having, for us. having us. Erica, for those of us who don't know, what does your foundation do? Well, the Community Foundation was started in 1984, and the, the primary goal of this uh, nonprofit here on the Lower Eastern Shore is to promote philanthropy. And you might say, how do you do that? Well, the Community Foundation is a place where individuals like you and me, businesses, nonprofits, charitable groups, can invest their dollars. Those are in permanent funds that are then invested each and every year, and those dollars go back out to the community right here, Wicomico, Worcester, Somerset County. And last year, we distributed $5 million to 500 wow. different nonprofit organizations. And that's all due to the generous spirit of the people right here in our community. Yeah, because just like the foundation gives back, you encourage other people to do the same, especially this time of year. There are always tremendous needs year round, but in particular during this giving season that, meant that many charities talk about, it's really easy to see the struggles that families face in meeting some basic human needs, the things that we see in terms of, you know, heating assistance, Christmas gifts for, for children in need, you know, all of those things are really paramount because so many of us are doing so many things in the spirit of generosity. So the, we all know, you know, Black Friday, we got Cyber Monday, but mm -hmm. there's another one and it's called 
Giving Tuesday. Explain to me what that is. So Giving Tuesday is, is about four years old. It was started by a nonprofit in New York City. And what they said was, you know, we have all of this focus on ourselves and our families, and let's figure out a way that we can encourage each other to give to the things that help our community be stronger, whether that's human service needs, education, youth, arts and culture, all of the things that help us in whatever respective community we're in have the best place possible. And Rena, the uh, Art League of Ocean City is involved in this as well. Tell us about that. Well, we are one of approximately 25 nonprofit organizations involved in this collaborative effort to have people have a place where they can give on this designated day, Giving Tuesday. Um, it's kind of like a one-stop shopping for your donations. And it's so important. Each one of these organizations has their own nonprofit mission that we each work on, whether it's arts or environment or homelessness. And by having people step up and give back to these organizations, it allows us to concentrate on our nonprofit missions, and it's such a huge help. So we're talking a lot about giving, but what do you say to those people that maybe they question, you know, will my donation really make a difference? Well, it certainly will. I mean, Giving Tuesday this year is December 1st, and so it's Tuesday, December 1st. The great thing about Giving Tuesday is that the focus is online. It's on immediate impact. So you can go, and we're working with our Worcester County nonprofit partners um, through the website suregivesmore.org. So it's a great, easy way. So gifts of any size any amount, you can go right on, make that safe, charitable contribution, whether it's $10, whether it's $20, whether it's $100. Select the charity of your choice or multiple charities and know that every single dollar is going directly to that nonprofit mission. Yeah. And many of the nonprofits, you know, work on small, tight budgets, short staff, and really appreciate the community's support. And, uh, and no amount's too small. No amount is too small. Hmm. Okay, and finally, Rena, I, I understand congratulations are in order. Yes. Tell it, us about that. We, the Art League was honored to receive the uh, Richard Henson Award for Nonprofit Excellence given by the Community Foundation last Friday. Um, our, we have a great team, dedicated board and volunteers and that have worked for many years to bring the arts to the Ocean City area. And um, we do that in our home, the Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street. It is a full service arts facility. And art is so important to everybody, it's from the smallest child to mm -hmm. senior citizens. We, our programs and events cover all age groups, well, all socioeconomic barriers, and just yeah, you help a lot of people mm -hmm. out. Well, Rena and Erica, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. And if you'd like to learn more from the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, including how you can participate in Giving Tuesday, go to WVOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. Well, it is the season of giving, and you could be on the receiving end of something big. We, along with our friends at Sussex County Federal Credit Union, have been paying it forward. Up next, we surprise another lucky someone with a $150 gift card. You never know where we will show up today. And that's not the only way you can win big today. You could be one of today's two winners in our Holiday Guide giveaway. We'll announce the winners a little later. But first, for the first time ever, Garth Brooks is coming to Baltimore, and we're giving away tickets to see his show before they even go on sale on Friday. Now, we're giving away two tickets per day starting tomorrow through Thursday. The tickets are for Garth's show on Friday, January 29th. Garth's wife, Trisha Yearwood, will also be playing in the shows in Baltimore for your chance to win. And for a list of rules, go to WBOC.com, click on our picture at the top of the page. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.